Hi, I'm going to explain the basic idea behind homotopy. And I'm going to show you that a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin is homotopic to the point 2i. But first, I want to give you an intuitive notion of homotopy. And to do that, I'm uh, going to bring on my friend Carl Sagan, who is going to explain to you, uh, he's going to show you actually how a dinosaur is homotopic to a bird. So, Carl, coming up. All right, so here's a dinosaur. Carl Sagan's going to show you how it's homotopic to a bird. Some became the dinosaurs. One line of dinosaurs. Homotopy, homotopy. Useful for short flights. More homotopy, Today, just a second. The only living descendants of the dinosaurs are the birds. So notice how he took a picture of a dinosaur and he morphed it into this picture of a bird. And he did it very continuously. There were no jerks or anything like that. So the idea behind homotopy is simply you have One some sort of a picture and it just slowly changes. Short Today, the only Quiet, girl. Uh, so you can slowly change a, a dinosaur into a bird. Well, let's see how that would look over here. Uh, to be, com we'll go back to Carl in a second. To be completely uh, rigorous about it, we need to come up with uh, a bunch of uh, functions, uh, h of s and t, uh, that parameterize a picture. And so let me, so basically uh, S, uh, or yeah, S tells, well, I'm going to start with T. T tells you uh, uh, if you imagine uh, a parameterization being a bug walking around the circle. At time t equals 0, the bug might start here. At time t equals 1, it might be there. At time t equals 2, it might be there because it's sped up. At time t equals 3, it might be right there. At times t equals 4, it might be back to the, to the, to the beginning. So you imagine t as being uh, the the path that is traced out at time uh, time one, you know the bugs right there, and then going around like that. So for each picture, it takes a certain amount of time to draw it. It takes a certain amount of time for the bug to to do that. That t is the, shows you where the bug is going to be at at a given time. The s is going to tell you at what stage morphing you're at. So to come back to Carl Sagan. All right, let's go back and look at this one more time. So here, okay, here is uh, s equals 0. s equals 0 is a dinosaur, and maybe here at t equals 0, the bug starts there, and then at t equals 1, it's down the leg, and then t equals 5, it's there, t equals 10, and then it goes back tracks, right? And t equals 100, it's right there because it took a long time to draw it. So the t traces out uh, where the bug is at a certain time or where your pencil is. And so this would be s equals 0. At s equals, I don't know, uh, 0.3, or how about s equals 1 second? Here's 336. Let's pause it at 337. It's at 337 now. Now s, this is where s equals 1 second. So now we're looking at a different picture, right? We're not looking at dinosaur. We're looking at some sort of a hybrid bird creature. It's kind of uh, frightening. But we still have the t. The bugs or the pencil still has to start at time 0. And then at time one, it might be halfway through the wing. Time two, it might trace it around. So T tells you how you're drawing the picture. And if you change S, the picture changes. So let's just run through what that might look like over here. So if I start with a circle of radius one, so it goes through I, it goes through one. I can show you this homotopic to this point at 2i. So here, this is my picture where s equals 0, and this might be t equals 0 up to t equals 2 pi, for instance. But maybe I do it in such a way such that uh, at time, at maybe, I don't know, uh, at s equals 1 half, I get a picture that looks like this. Uh, I get a circle that's half the radius, so I, I'm going to do it only by using circles. And it's halfway up. And then maybe at a different point in time, maybe you know s equals 3 fourths, I'm 3 quarters of the way there, but now I only have a circle a quarter of the radius. So what you get is you get this kind of cone of circles that's going to be shrinking down and moving up at the same time to be that point. That's homotopy.